Welcome to a video from thisislife.com New Windows 11 build to look at This is 26063 For Windows is cited on the Canary channel Now even though the Canary and the Dev channel are synced up at the moment Microsoft haven't released this for the Dev channel That's because they're testing a servicing pipeline So there's a minor update going out to that channel So if you want to try these new features You need the Canary build Which is what I've got here so what's new in this build? Well, actually, this has an interesting technology uh, built into it now. It's got Wi-Fi 7 support. Uh, so that's um, IEEE 802.11BE Extreme High Technology Throughput, so EHT. So that's the new Wi-Fi 7, the latest generation of Wi-Fi. Windows 11 now supports that, so it supports um, those accessing the network through those Wi-Fi heads, so you should receive um, improved... Uh, transfer sp speed six times faster they say i shall say than wi-fi 5 so you'll need to have uh, the hardware that supports it but windows supports it as well now right there's some other uh, couple of changes these were actually introduced in the last build but copilot now has a list of additional things it can do so they've added microsoft have added these new commands in there i'm not convinced my machine's got them because as you see i've just done um mtv cycle bin and it's Open File Explorer, so I'm not sure that my machine has picked up those, but you're supposed to be asked for battery information, so how, how is my let's ask how the, how, some of that, how the battery is, and then it should give you some results back yeah, so it's giving you search results. So there's 16 commands that you're supposed to have, like some accessibility, some things like what's my IP address, things like that. I found on mine, as you see, I haven't picked those up yet. So it's because they're rolling those out slowly. But yeah, I get the idea. It's quite good to have those built in there. Um, it's slower than doing it manually, but I suppose yeah, that's not the point. The point is you can ask it things when you don't know how to find those settings. So for any user, it should be quicker. Uh, one of the things they took away as well is a little thing I showed in the last field video where you can select some text and then this icon will change, you can do something with it, but they, they've taken that out temporarily. They've also taken out the check the updated widgets uh, board with the selector on there. Um, I didn't get that up build at all anyway, with that option anyway. The rest of the changes are just fixes. They fixed some issues with the network icon. They fixed some issues with going into Windows Update History. And they fixed some issues with DVM crashing and some plug and play audio setup experiences. There's a couple of new known issues. There's still an issue with DevDrive and the display connection selection is showing up incorrectly. And if you use an ISO to do a clean update, keep nothing in the Windows setup experience uh, doesn't work. And they've in, uh, there's a couple of issues with rolling back to previous builds. I've not seen any issues installed in those builds as well. And there's a new issue of uh, with mouse cursor issues uh, after installing build 26058 that causes the com the cursor to com to disappear completely. And there's a new issue with the um, context menus in um, File Explorer. With uh, so, but I haven't picked those up. Uh, but I haven't seen that issue yet. So those are the changes really. The, the list of commands that you can do look for controlling Copilot looks quite interesting. It's just a shame my machine's not picked up those changes yet. But apart from that, that's the new build. That's uh, 26063 for Windows Insiders on the Canary channel. I'll see you on the next build video.